I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, we're going to be making a one-shoulder maxi dress. These are the materials that you would need, so let's get right into it. So we're basically going to be using the one-shoulder top that we found to trace out the dress the dress part is easy you just need your one shoulder top to trace out the sleeve and the body the top body part so that's all you see me doing here now is just tracing out the sleeve and i'm adding a little length to it because when i tried this shirt on the sleeve wasn't as long as i like so i'm just adding a little length to it and tracing all around it Once you have your sleeve traced out, we're just going to cut it and then we're going to pin where we're going to sew. I will show you guys that pinning part next. The next step is to trace your actual top. You just want to trace all the way around the top, not the bottom of the top because we're going to elongate that part for the dress, but the sides and the top, you just want to trace all the way around and leave yourself seam allowance as well. Now we're just gonna turn this into a shape of the dress. So I'm measuring out my bust to my waist and then I'm measuring out my waist to my hips. Just so I know where to place the dress curve. So for the curves, I just freehanded it. I know I'm not that big, so I just freehanded the curve areas. And then I'm going to measure out my waist and the length of the dress that I want all the way down. And with the curves, I'm also using this curve ruler to just make the curve a little more realistic. After that, I'm just going to elongate the dress even more all the way down to the length I desired. The next part is to just cut out the dress silhouette you just made all the way around. Once you're done tracing and cutting, this is what you should have. You should have the front and back piece of the dress and the front and back piece of the sleeve. And we're just going to sew straight down the sides of the sleeves, both sides. 
and we're also going to hem the bottom of the sleeve. Then we're going to sew straight across the dress strap and straight down both sides of the dress. Also, you want to hem the bottom of the dress as well. Since this is a stretch fabric, we will be using a zigzag stitch just to retain the stretch. Now that we have both pieces sewn, it's time to attach them together. And to attach the sleeve, you first want to turn your sleeve to the right side. And then you want to tuck it into the dress. And when you tuck it into the dress, we're going to match the seams together. Once you have the sleeve inside the dress, we're just going to mesh the seams together all the way around. And once they're all meshed together, we're just going to sew all the way around that little circle area and your sleeve will be attached. the sleeve is sewn onto the dress this is what it should look like in the next in the final step it should just hem the neckline of the dress you can also add a bias tape but i just hemmed it and this is what my dress came out looking like super cute got your girl looking good this was a super simple diy it had a few extra steps but i still think it's beginner friendly and you can do it fish you can do it if you're sewing okay super simple oh y'all don't mind that little bra showing right there okay and this is also what the bottom of the dress looks like i made it too long i'm gonna have to cut it but nevertheless it's still cute okay if you guys like this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe comment down below let me know what you think that's all i have for you guys may your curls pop and your grind never stop by the squad i'm out of here